All right, now most of the Samsung Galaxy phone users know about the secure folder feature inside which we can drop any files, applications, which can be completely secured by Samsung security software called Knox. Now just creating a secure folder is not good enough. What you need to do is, once you open the secure folder application, you need to tap on this three dot button here you will get this menu option where you will find encrypt. Now when you tap on encrypt, it says encrypting secure folder helps keep your data safe from advanced cyber attack. When secure folder is encrypted, all applications will stop working and you won't receive any notifications from them. The next time you open secure folder, encryption will be deactivated and apps will start working normally and sending notifications. Now this is something which is very important to enable in case if you are saving any important data inside the secure folder. Basically it encrypts the entire data the only bummer here is you will not get any app notifications because all the app will stop working however it's completely secured by cyber attacks putting the files inside the secure folder is not just enough make sure you encrypt the entire secure folder now if you're new to samsung and if you do not know how to enable secure folder all you need to do is just go to the settings go to security and privacy here now here, go to more security setting. You see on the top, you'll find secure folder. Just tap on that and follow the prompts to create a secure folder. Now Samsung does not provide the app lock feature, but if you want to lock an application, the only way we can do that is by creating a secure folder. We'll be able to duplicate the applications and log into those applications in different IDs. Samsung thinks that that is a better option, but we would also like to get app lock feature by default inside One UI. That would be great to see. Next, if you're someone who use the phone moderately or heavily, you need to make sure you set the phone to light performance profile instead of standard performance profile. To do that, all you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on device care. Now here you will find this option under performance, the performance profile, I will select this. You see, I have set it to light. It prioritizes the battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed. And the best part is it also says this settings doesn't apply to games. You can manage game performance in game booster settings. So if you set the phone to light performance mode and if you also play games on the phone this light performance profile will not affect the performance of the game so that's a great setting that we have which you can enable if you use the phone moderately or heavily i use the phone a lot for calls and all that so uh, i set this to light performance mode and it doesn't affect whenever i play games so this is a mode that i set usually on uh, the galaxy uh, flagship series so if you own a samsung galaxy flagship phone you can change the performance profile to light instead of standard because standard provides the recommended balance between processing speed battery life and cooling efficiency though this is a great setting setting the light performance mode will definitely extend the battery life by at least one to one and a half hours easily so go ahead change the settings to light performance mode next just go to these settings tap on device care here we have got an option called auto optimization just tap on that and tap on auto restart here now you see it says restarting your phone from time to time can help keep it running in the best condition. Automatic restarts will only happen when you are not using your phone. So here we've got two options, restart when needed, restart on schedule. Make sure you enable one of these settings so that your phone will be restarted once in a while to keep the phone running very smoothly. You can either restart when needed, your phone will restart automatically when performance issues are detected. Restart on schedule, set a schedule for when you want your phone to restart. I can enable this and I can set a particular day of the week and time to restart the phone automatically. This is very important guys, you need to make sure you either select a restart when needed or restart on schedule. And we can also enable both of them. The phone will decide when to restart if at all there is any issues with the phone and it'll also restart when you have asked the phone to restart. That's the third one. Next, you need to make sure you have turned off RAM Plus if you already have 12 or 16 GB of RAM on your Galaxy phone. Because 12 or 16 GB of RAM is more than enough for any kind of performance on the phone. So you don't really have to turn on the RAM Plus. To do this, just go to these settings, tap on device care, here, tap on memory. Now you see on the latest Galaxy phones, by default, the RAM Plus will be enabled. It will be turned on and uh, the maximum RAM Plus is selected here. So all you need to do is just turn it off and restart your phone so that you don't have RAM Plus turned on. This is really unnecessary if you already have 12 to 16 GB of RAM. But yes, if you have a lower end phone or a mid range phone, which has just got about 8 GB of RAM or 6 GB of RAM, then you can turn on this feature. Now let's move to the next one. Let's go to settings. Tap on device care again. 
Now here under device care, you might have missed out to tap on this particular icon here. You see when I tap on this, it's going to give me a care report on the Galaxy phone. It shows us some important information here. The last auto memory cleaning four hours ago, last auto restart was never done. Issues in last 30 days, 26 issues found. Unused applications, so many, and we've got app issues. Uh, it says none, excessive alerts, none. So this is a very important report that we get on the Galaxy phones. So you need to make sure you check this report once in a while and get the issues fixed if there is anything showing up right here you see i've got 26 issues found here i'll just tap on this it shows me a list of applications let me tap on digi locker here and this app has been put into deep sleep automatically now uh, these are not any major issue as such but uh, you definitely have to check this so that you can keep the phone running smoothly now Whenever we find a major issue on the phone which we are not able to sort it out, we generally go for a reset. Now, while resetting, we have a fear of losing the data. We have to juggle a lot to uh, save some data from the phone to the cloud or any other external hard drive, especially the media files inside the gallery. So that is something which is a bit annoying whenever you want to reset the phone. However, now on the latest Samsung Galaxy phones, uh, One UI 6.1 or One UI 6.0, we have got an incredible feature which helps us to completely backup the phone on the Samsung cloud. And that would be a temporary backup. Now let me show you how exactly to do this. Let's go to uh, settings. Let's scroll all the way down to uh, general management here. This is where we'll find this reset option. Now I'll tap on this. You see it says before resetting your phone, back up your data to Samsung Cloud or an external storage device. You can restore your data after resetting. Now we got this temporary cloud backup option. Backup unlimited data to Samsung Cloud for up to 30 days or restore data you have backed up. Now, this is just crazy. Now, we can uh, upload unlimited data to Samsung Cloud up to 30 days. Definitely sounds insane, isn't it? Let me tap on this. You see, we have got backup and restore with Samsung Cloud uh, page here. Uh, when you tap on backup data, it will search the data on the phone. It is going to take a few seconds and then it will ask you to select the content that you want to back up. Uh, we can back up calls and contacts, messages, applications. You see, there is about 17.9 GB of applications. I can also back up all my images, 1.66 GB, videos of 16 GB, audio almost 2 GB, documents. So all put together, I've got uh, about 43.17 GB data, which can be backed up directly to Samsung Cloud for up to 30 days, which is fantastic. I can just select the one that I want and I can tap on backup. And once it's backed up, you can go ahead and uh, reset your phone and then come back to the same page where you have got temporary cloud backup option. When you tap on that, it'll ask you to restore the data if you have already backed up. You see, we've got this restore data option. I can select this if I have already backed up the data on Samsung Cloud. If you don't want a cloud backup, uh, we also have external storage backup option. We can connect a USB storage device directly to the phone and back up the data within a few minutes and then restore it once you reset your phone. This is a very important feature which you guys should know with One UI 6.1 and 6.0. Now, you may be worried about excessive screen on time on your phone or excessive usage of any specific application on your phone. And you might want to restrict yourself from excessive phone usage or excessive application usage. In that case, we have got a brilliant feature on Galaxy phones under digital well-being, which will help us restrict ourselves from using the phone. Now let me go to the settings and uh, go to the digital well-being settings here. Now here, this is where you will find a screen time goal and app timer. Now screen time goal will help us restrict the screen time on the phone. I can select the screen time goal and select a particular day I want and set the screen time goal. You see for today I have set four hours of screen on time and already 15 uh, minutes uh, are done and three hour 45 minutes of screen on time is remaining for the day for me. As soon as I'm done with four hours, the phone will indicate or this feature will indicate me or let me know that I'm done with my screen on time for today so i need to keep the phone aside or use the phone only for any important work now this is how we set the screen time goal uh, and if you want to select a particular application for app timers just tap on this and select any application that you want and a tap on set timer to select a specific day in a week and a set the timer for this particular application. Once the app usage reaches a specific time that you have set, digital well-being application will notify you that you have reached that uh, time, which is a reminder for you to close that application. Now, this is a very important feature go ahead and check it out and start using it. Next, whenever you take a screenshot on the Galaxy phone, it is not really clean. We've got uh, the status bar and the navigation bar at the bottom, which will show up on the screenshot. Now to disable the status bar and the navigation bars and get a clean screenshot, what you need to do is just go to the settings and tap on advanced features 
tap on screenshots and recordings. Now here you see we have got this option hide status bar and navigation bar which can be enabled when you take a screenshot you will not see the status bar and the navigation bar which is fantastic so go ahead enable this hide status and navigation bar feature if you don't want to see the status bar and navigation bar when you take a screenshot the next cool thing you should do on your galaxy phone is remapping your side button yes the side button can be remapped for a specific functions now let me go to the settings and go to the advanced features now here you see we've got this option side button tap on that this is where we can customize the side button functionality we can uh, enable double press and select quick camera launch or samsung wallet quick access or open a specific application now what i've set here is a torch when i double press on the side key the torch will turn on and i can just tap on the settings icon to select any specific application and we are good to go now uh, we also have this press and hold option we can wake up bixby or we can select power off menu depending on your preference of course this is the basic customization and if you want advanced customization you can open good lock application and go to register module which enables you to further customize press and hold action for your side key you see we got the side key press and hold action i can tap on that to add some other functionalities here as you can see we've got a bunch of functionalities which can be executed uh, when you press and hold on the side key next we have got a very important feature on galaxy phones which you should enable if you're using any latest galaxy phones that is the auto blocker in the privacy settings let's go to the settings let me tap on the privacy security and privacy settings here now this is where you will find auto blocker option just tap on this it says auto blocker keeps your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activities blocks apps from unauthorized sources turns on app security checks blocks commands by usb cable so these are some important security features which can be enabled by just enabling this toggle auto blocker so make sure you enable this toggle we also have these advanced toggles here messaging app protection and block software updates by usb cable uh, toggle make sure you enable these also so that the phone is completely protected so very important feature you must enable on your latest galaxy phone next here is another important security and privacy feature let's go to settings and tap on security and privacy here tap on more security setting now here you will find a feature called enhanced data protection just tap on this you see there are two toggles here which will encrypt the backup data and it will also encrypt the synced data protect your cloud data with end-to-end -end encryption this ensures no one can access your data but you even if there is a data breach so this feature will protect your data it will encrypt your data providing the maximum security so go ahead and enable these two toggles if you want to secure your data saved in the cloud storage and this must be referring to the samsung cloud storage so make sure you enable these security features to enhance your data protection next under security and privacy we also have another application called pin app now you need to enable this feature on your galaxy phone because this will prevent others from accessing features outside of a pinned application. Let me show you how this works. Let me open a Samsung internet. Now let's say here you're reading an article and you want to share uh, the phone with someone else for them to read it. And you don't want them to move out of this app and sneak into any other applications on the phone. In that case, all you need to do is go to the recent application, tap on the app icon. Now here you will see this pin this application option if you have enabled it in the settings. Just tap on that. Now it says to unpin this application swipe up and hold. Just tap on OK. Now this application has been pinned. Now if you hand over the phone to somebody else they will not be able to go to the home. They will not be able to open the notification uh, or the quick panel. They will only be able to use this application. They can go back. They can use the menu options here on this application. They can do all that but they cannot move out of this application because this app has been locked on the phone. Generally the other person will not know how to go back to the home screen. So you take back the phone from them and uh, just swipe up from the bottom of the screen and hold it. It will lock the phone and then you unlock the phone to unpin this application and get back to the home. Next, if you are a Samsung Galaxy S24 series user, we have got a brilliant features under the display settings. Let me show you that. Let's go to the settings and tap on display. Now here we have got eye comfort shield feature which we have on most of the Galaxy phones. When you enable this, we also have this additional feature here called enhanced comfort. This will adjust the color tones and contrast for more comfortable viewing at night. Go ahead and enable this toggle for a better viewing at night 
on your Galaxy S24 series. All right, now the next important thing you should make sure you do on Samsung Galaxy phone is enabling the Samsung Find feature. Now recently, Samsung moved the Samsung Find feature from the SmartThings application and introduced a brand new application called Samsung Find. So go to Galaxy Store and search for Samsung Find. Now this is a Samsung Find application. Using this application, we will be able to share our location with the family members or locate your family members if they have shared the location with you. Or whenever you lose a Samsung Galaxy phone or a Samsung Buds or any other Samsung devices, you will be able to locate them using this particular application. So make sure you uh, download this application and start using it on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Now these are some important things or some important features which you should enable on your Galaxy phone for better security and privacy, better productivity and better functionality. Let me know what do you think, which one is your favorite feature, drop a comment and if you're interested in this wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. Every video that I post will have a new wallpaper. You can check out all my previous videos to download some incredible wallpapers. The links will be in the description and the link for this uh, widget all is also in the description. This is a KWGT widget. You need to be a KWGT Pro user and you need to download this premium KWGT pack to install these kind of widgets. I also left the links for this in the description. Go ahead and check it out. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.